Welcome back everyone to our little series on integrating Unity with Git. This is going to be the second one of the series. And if we go ahead and take a look, last time we went ahead and created a repo on GitHub and then basically injected our project into, into it. Now the reason why I did it that way is because I wanted to get these three files, our dot git ignore our license and our readme file. Uh, just because we can copy these files over and over and over again to each project. But we'll go ahead and we'll take a look here. I still only have the one repo. Come on. <laughs> Maybe. All right, so I only have one there. So let's go ahead and we'll create another one. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and open up source tree again. And we still only have one in our source tree. So we're going to go ahead and create another one. And it looks like... Yep. Just checking the recording there. It looks like we're actually getting the full screen this time. That's kind of important. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create another one here. So we're gonna clone a repository. Uh, we'll click this. And this time we're gonna create a new repository. And we wanna give it a name. This time I'm gonna call it, what was the other one called? The other one was called Remotely Created. So we'll call this one Locally Created. And I'm gonna use the same naming. Uh, description, a people that was created on my local machine. All right, homepage, we're not gonna do anything with, and we're gonna make sure that it's publicly visible. We'll just hit create repo, and there we go, we have locally created. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that one, hit okay. And then we have to go ahead and set the destination path. We've done this before, right? So I'll go ahead and click here, Ah, uh, we've looked at it before. I like to put mine in a certain folder structure. And right here, and what was I calling it? That, the other one is remote created. I'm gonna call this one local created. Well, oh. do it this way. <laughs> local created. Bam. And that's it. So we'll go ahead with clone. And we have two listed here now. And if we go ahead and bring up our web browser, we'll go ahead and refresh the page. And there we go. It's been created. If we go over and click, uh, it's telling us that it doesn't have anything in it. And it does give us the option. Well, we can actually go ahead and set it up. Uh, but it does give us the option to go ahead and make these if we wanted to. Uh, can you still use? Oh, yeah, we, we do still get the option. But we're not going to. What we're going to do is open up our Finder. Or, sorry, on, on Windows, it's not the Finder, it's the Explorer window. And I'm going to go into the old one that we did, the remote created. I'm going to go ahead and grab the three files. We're just going to copy them. Back up with the local created. I'm gonna go ahead and paste. And we will have to change the names. And, well, this is switched over to local. And we'll have to change this to this repo was created on my local machine. Uh, obviously, usually in your readme file, you want something a little more informative, but this is just for demonstration purposes, so it's fine. So I'm gonna move that off to the side. And if we go ahead and hit the commit, we see that we have those three files all ready to go up. Let's go make our Unity project. Now keep in mind, we can go ahead and grab our hack and slash project and drag it into this folder and sync that up now. But we'll make a new one. And what are we going to call this one? Local created? Sure. And of course, we'll have to tell it where to go. Right here, local created. All right, we'll go ahead, we'll create the package. And if we go ahead and look at our hierarchy here in our folders, uh, it's right here. 
So we'll go ahead. I guess I should have actually moved the git ignore over after that way I could show you all the files that git ignore is getting out for us. I, I think it's usually about 70 or about 90 files for an empty scene if you don't have that git ignore file in there, but we do. So does anyone remember what the next step is? What's the first thing you do in your project when you uh, are setting up for Git? You come up to edit, project settings, editor, and take your version control mode and switch it to visible meta files. And of course, the asset serialization mode, switch that to forest text. And that's all we have to do, but I'm actually gonna go ahead Make another folder here. I just like to put a scene in the every every um every project when I first create it. I kind of wish there was some way to set some sort of, some sort of template up in Unity so when I created a new project, it would automatically make my scenes folder and a, a demo scene in there for me. But it doesn't. If anyone actually knows a way to do that, let me know. I would love to be able to do that. Anyway, so scenes. We'll go ahead, save our scene. We'll go into the scenes folder. And we're just going to call it local demo one. All right. Well, now we'll close it. And I did hit commit. I didn't mean to. Cancel. Uh, so we've got all our files here. We're up to 20 now because I went and made the scene and the folder. There's our license and everything else. So let's go ahead and push this all up. We'll go ahead. We'll hit commit. And whoop. And we'll go ahead, hit commit. There we go. And a push should get us there. So what are we gonna push? We're gonna push the master, which is what we're working on right now. Uh, we could have called it something else, but for now, I don't wanna get into renaming stuff. We're just gonna stick with the default. And of course the remote branch, there is only one. So that's what we're gonna push it to. Actually, there isn't any. So here's a chance we could go ahead and rename it. If I could spell right. And let's go ahead. Everything looks good. We'll hit OK. It's going to go up. And we'll go ahead. Click back anywhere in here. And it should uh, automatically update for us. And we see we have the origin, which is development, uh, which is also our master. And it commit. We'll come back over to our web browser. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to do this. And here we go. Locally created. Now this one's quite a bit quicker than our last one because well there isn't really that much to explain. Now this is the method that I use for almost all of my 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 repos that I make. So I'll use source tree to actually go ahead and make my repo for me, wherever it is I'm gonna be putting it. Then I'll go ahead and copy those three files over, make any modifications I need to to the uh, readme, the git ignore, and the license. And then I usually move my project over. I usually have it created ahead of time. Sometimes I don't, though I'll just be creating exactly like this here. Uh, but a lot of times I already have a project created and I'll just actually drag that folder right in. But yeah, there we go. That's actually all there is to it. So tomorrow we're actually gonna go ahead and well, we're gonna continue on with working with Git. Tomorrow we're gonna look at how to update our repo as we go along. And let's also work with branching. And I guess the only thing after that will be pulling it down. Um, like maybe pulling someone else's Unity project down. So those are the only things left. It's not a whole lot. We should be getting a little bit familiar with um, Source Tree now. Whatever GUI you want to use. There's a bunch of them out there. Pick whatever one you want. If you're more comfortable with the command line, by all means, use that. Because, well, there's a lot of commands you can do that way too. But either way, thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.